Hi students! This is a reading practice to go along with week 7 of our distance English practice. This reading is for the morning level packet, which means it's at a slightly higher difficulty level than the afternoon level reading. However, if you would like, you can always watch the afternoon video first, get a strong understanding for the concept, for the content, and then come back to this higher video to pull in some of that stronger vocabulary. Remember, one good strategy you can use with these videos is to record yourself with your cell phone in a video mode. Record yourself reading a passage of this paper. Listen to your pronunciation and compare to my pronunciation. Make a small analysis of your pronunciation. Are you pronouncing the same or differently on certain words? Thinking about your pronunciation with the shape of your lips, how can you adjust to make that pronunciation closer to mine? If you are not a member of my English classroom, no problem. Make sure you have a notebook with you so that you can write down any new vocabulary Always put that new vocabulary into a sentence because the repetition of the vocabulary is how it becomes fixed in our mental dictionaries. This article is called Facebook is being told it must change the way it targets some ads. Written by Adam Gabbett for The Guardian newspaper and published on April 5th. 2019. In the United States, a law protects citizens from unfair treatment when renting or buying a home. It is called the Fair Housing Act. Social media company Facebook is being charged with breaking this law. The U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, known as HUD, is part of the national government. It helps to ensure everyone has somewhere to live. Facebook uses what is called targeted advertising. It allows companies and groups to show ads on its website. These groups can decide exactly who sees their ads. HUD claims that Facebook's targeted advertising discriminated based on people's race. It said Facebook restricted who could view housing-related ads on its site. These could be houses available for sale or for rent, for example. The department said doing this unlawfully discriminates based on race, color, national origin, religion, familial status, sex, and disability. Computer door slamming is a thing. HUD also said that Facebook tracks data about its users. It then uses that data to determine which of its users will see housing-related ads. The advertisements that show are based partly on what information Facebook knows about users. Facebook is discriminating against people based upon who they are and where they live, HUD Secretary Ben Carson said. Using a computer to limit a person's housing choices can be just as discriminatory as slamming a door in someone's face. The charges could cost the social network millions of dollars in fines, Beyond that, they strike at Facebook's main moneymaker, advertising. Because of ads, Facebook makes more than $55 billion per year. It could mean the government will put more pressure on similar tech companies. The technology at the heart of the clash with HUD can be very useful to advertisers and groups. They can send messages directly to the crowd that they want to see them. Facebook promises new ad rules. Facebook said it was surprised by the decision. The company said it has been working with HUD to address its concerns. Last month, Facebook said it would totally change its ad targeting system. Its goal was to prevent discrimination in housing listings. It also wants to stop unfair treatment in other kinds of ads, such as ads for loans or jobs. This is part of a settlement with the American Civil Liberties Union the National Fair Housing Alliance, and other groups. These groups fight for equal rights. 
We are disappointed by today's development, Facebook said. Still, it said it will continue working with civil rights experts on these issues. HUD said Facebook is allowing advertisers to exclude people based on their neighborhood. They can draw a red line around those areas on a map. The company was also accused of allowing advertisers to show ads only to men or only to women. The agency also thinks Facebook let advertisers exclude people based on other characteristics. These include people who were parents, those born in other countries, and non-Christians. It also included those interested in Hispanic culture or accessibility for the disabled. Government groups are watching. The charges were seen as evidence that Facebook is being watched more closely. Lawmakers, government groups, and activists are making sure it follows the rules. Facebook is already wrestling with several government investigations in the United States and Europe. They are looking into Facebook's data and privacy practices. Facebook is already under fire. It allowed fake Russian accounts to buy ads. Lawmakers say those ads were targeting U.S. users. The Russians behind the accounts wanted to create disagreements and anger during the 2016 presidential election. Facebook has also been criticized for allowing organizations to target groups of people involved in hate groups. HUD first brought a complaint against Facebook in August 2018. Facebook said then that it was eager to find a solution. Still, Facebook said that HUD insisted on access to sensitive information. Facebook said it did not want to allow user information to be accessed by the government without more security. How was this reading for you? What new vocabulary did you find? Post in the comments under the video any new vocabulary in sentences to practice using it. Post any questions, comments, what surprised you about this article. As always, students, until next time, bye.